few famous colleagues of mine. They are musician in a city called Bremen, and the story goes like this. On the Lüneburger Heide, not far from Bremen, was a beautiful old mill. In the mill lived a donkey for many, many years. The donkey looked at the landscape because he had nothing better to do. Earlier, yes earlier, when he brought sacks with corn to the mill and very often he had to make the mill, millstone move. But now, no one ever used a donkey anymore. The former miller became real smart businessman. He built a playground around the mill. He kept the donkey. Visitors of the park just loved the donkey. A real donkey in front of the mill was not that real to take pictures of. Look, a real donkey, people said. They had a camera and a video camera with them. The donkey had to stand right in front of the mill. And then people took his picture and taped it. At first the donkey was very good, but after a while it became too much for him. I mean, he is a donkey after all. No supermodel, that old donkey, people said. But in the first place the donkey wasn't an old donkey, what the people liked him to do. On a beautiful summer day the donkey saw five buses driving towards the mill. And every bus was full with American and Japanese tourists. They all brought their cameras and their video cameras and they walked towards the donkey. And again the donkey had to stand in front of the mill and everybody wanted him to say yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had enough of that. At the moment that all tourists pushed the record button on their cameras, the donkey ran away. Straight through all the tourists. ran and ran until he couldn't see the mill anymore. <laughs> when he came by a tree he took a little break and he started thinking about how he could earn his own money in the future. At first I have to do what I like to do best, eating. Eating is what I like to do. Who is going to give me something to eat without working for it? Hmm, music. Listen to music is almost as favorite as eating. But from listening to music isn't gonna fill my stomach. I know, I'm going to make music myself. Music is what I am. The tourists said it themselves. Right, I'm going to Bremen and become a musician and a singer. <laughs> Doesn't sound bad at all. If I work on it a little bit more, then I'm going to be the best. Okay, let's go to Bremen. Soon he arrived at the farm. On the farmyard, it was extremely quiet. No cocks, no cows, no tractor sounds, nothing. What are you doing here? You must be lost. Thank God, there is someone home. I thought it was an abandoned farm. And I was looking for a place to sleep. I thought, a farm is a good place to stay for a night for me. The early farm was very beautiful. That's not much left. It's not really a farm anymore. An alternative couple from Bremen bought it and are reconstructing it. That is nothing left. Oh. 
And now you have nothing left to do. And you feel like you are too much here or not. Exactly. How you know? Well, it happened to me too. Started telling. Earlier, I was a watchdog. Everybody respected me. But when my old boss died, and the farm was sold, since then it's very boring out here. Is there nothing you would like to do? asked the donkey. To hide. Yes! Yes, I used to hide when the copper from Bremen came to visit. I waited till they got out from the car and then... <coughs> that they didn't dare to get out of the car anymore. But that's over. I'm too scared now. If I do that again, I'm going to a dog's home. Sometimes I wonder if isn't there much more fun in a dog's home. Dog's home? That doesn't sound like fun to me, the donkey said. You know, my story is a kind of the same. But one day, I decided to become a musician. Solo. Now on my way to Bremen, and I'm going to be famous. On the other side, a duo can be nice as well. And he asked the dog how musical he was. Hmm. The dog could not howl more than three octaves. The donkey wanted to hear that. But he couldn't. If the couple heard him, they would be annoyed. They were watching TV near the window. So they decided to do the performance tomorrow. And the dog showed the donkey a place to spend the night. There was also a bunch of hay left. That night the donkey had a good night's sleep. Musician, he thought in his dream. I'm going to be a famous musician. The air is clear. Show me the best you can do. <laughs> Please start. Oh ja, ich war ein Hofhund, ein wildes, stolzes Tier. Ein Chef hier auf dem Bauernhof, denn das war mein Revier. Jetzt spiele ich den Schoß und ja, ist denn das der Dank? Das ist ein Hundeleben, das macht mich richtig krank. Und damit ist jetzt Ende, doch damit ist jetzt Schluss. Wir gehen jetzt nach Bremen und werden Musikus. Ja, und verfixt und zu genäht, kam uns das nicht gleich. Wir gehen jetzt nach Bremen, sind bald berühmt und reich. Das war nicht schlecht. Also, ich finde, das klingt geil. Mit dem Lied machen wir bestimmt Karriere. Ja, dann auf nach Bremen. It's a long way to Bremen. And soon both musicians got hungry and thirsty. Suddenly, the dog smelled something. Poo, he said. I smell poo, yes, and where is poo, there must be a farm, and where is a farm, there must be food, and indeed, when they arrived, they saw, they were right, but, it was a real farm, and there was a cock, it was a real farm, and there was a big pile of poo, and on there, there was a real cock. But that's impossible. What happened here? Why is your mouth tied up? That's nothing. You should charge the farmer. And while the dog took a look around, the donkey untied the cock's mouth. Thanks! You can't imagine how grateful I am. Why is you, your mouth tied up? Did you do something bad? I didn't do anything. But No, nothing. Just listen. And the cock started to tell his story. One day, there came a man out of the city. One with a suit and tie. And he asked the farmers if he could buy the old barn behind the farm. He wanted to build a house to spend his holidays. Oh, the old barn was empty and useless anyway. The farmers were glad to have someone there to buy it. 
The next day the handyman started, but after the first night in his new house, he went to the farmers immediately. He didn't sleep well because the cock was too noisy. The farmer said, that's normal. The cock crows in the morning, and if he didn't want that, then he should not build a house next to the farm. The man didn't count on that one. He took his case to a judge, and you know, the judge decided that the cock could crow from 10 in the morning till 12 in the afternoon, and from 3 in the afternoon until 7 in the evening. Can't believe it. No cock can handle that. And that's why the mouth got tied up in the time that he could not crow. But that's unbelievable. Where is that man? You, I will bite him in his leg. And I will kick against his head. It doesn't matter. Then my boss has to pay even more. If I knew where to go, I would have left a long time ago. Mm hmm. Hmm. I think we know what to do for you. What kind of things you can do? Not much. Only growing. But that's my specialty. You see, there's something you can do. The two of us, we are musicians. And now we are a duo. We can also be a trio. Musicians? Can you earn money with that? Of course you can. We are going to Bremen. And there we are going. Gonna be rich and famous with our music. If this is true, I'm going with you. That's fine by us. But first you have to sing something with us. We have to know whether we fit together. I would love to, right away. But then the cock realized it. It was noon break and he could not crow. But that didn't matter because the two others needed rest. The cock showed them a place behind the house. There were a few packages of crane and the donkey could fill his stomach. The dog followed and did the same. After that, they lay down in the warm sun and fell asleep. Exactly at three o'clock. Hey, he's starting. Der Licht mit voller Stimme den neuen Tag ausrief. Sprang fröhlich aus den Betten, alles was noch schlief. Dann standen alle Hühner bewundert um mich rum. Und was ist jetzt geworden? Ich bin allein und stumm. Doch damit ist der Zünde, doch damit ist der Schluss. Die Wien ist nach Bremen und Bremen muss die Kuss. Doch auf der Wichsen zu Wien kam es jetzt nicht gleich. Die Wien ist nach Bremen, zu weit, zu rund und reich. But what if we don't get famous? Bremen is waiting for us. Like I said before, it's a long way to Bremen. And because the three didn't end to travel in the dark, they looked out for a place to sleep. At a time, they came to a sign. Can anybody read that? The donkey asked. The dog. Good. Camping, he said. Well, that's it. The donkey said, on a camping we can get some food and something to drink and maybe even a place to sleep. When they came by the entrance, a cat, a cat came towards them. Meow. I can take it any longer. Over here it's cost cat music, like in Berlin harmonica. Why are you whining then? I went away from it. It's too loud. We do everybody at the camping have to have his own TV and CD player with him and everybody at the same time. One, Marco Posato, another one, Pavarotti, and another, Techno, Helge Schneider. <laughs> Music means something else to me. Hmm, that is something to think about, don't you think? Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What do you mean? Think about it. Think about what? Okay, listen. We are musicians. A trio! We are going to Bremen to be famous and earn a lot of money. And if we are a trio, we can also be a quartet. What do you think? 
Do you want to come? Come, you are the best musicians. Meow. With the four of them, they had so much fun making music that they couldn't stop anymore. It was heard on the camping. Most people didn't pay attention to it, but two people did. It were a man and a woman. Listen, she said. I haven't heard that song yet. It's nice, the man answered. They looked where the music came from. They looked where the music came from. And when they saw the donkey, the cat, the dog and the cock sing, the man said, That's actually the band we're looking for. We can earn money with them. The man clapped his hands and said, Bravo! The four wanted to know whether the music was really nice. But they still wanted to go to Bremen to become musicians. It seems that the man and the woman were producers for Bremen. And if you want to be famous in the music world, you have to make a record, right? Of course, why didn't we think of that? We have to make a record. How else can we become famous? Well, look. Well, look. And we, we make a record for you. And we play it on the radio. Everybody is going to buy your record. And then you will be rich. And the TV. Are we going to be on TV? But of course. We make sure you be on TV so much as you like. When are we going to start? Should we start right away? No, not so fast. You first have to ha sign a contract. A contract? Of course. I understand. That is needy. Well, make us a contract then. The man opened his laptop, which he always carries with him, and started typing. Finish, the man said. Sign here, please. The cat grabbed the pencil and wanted to sign the contract. But the cock said, wait, read it first. My neighbors taught me that. Ooh, they said. That isn't necessary. We do this every day. You can trust us. Doesn't matter, the dog said. And he started to read the contract. It says over here, the musician that is used get only 10% of the profit. Only 10%? Who gets the other 90%? That's for us. That's uh, obvious. Ah, uh, I don't understand what he means. That if one record is sold for 20 euros, we get 2 euros, and then they get the under 18 euros. But that's not fair. We make the music. It should be the other way around. Exactly. The other way around. Yeah. Well, that is getting worse. The producers, the people over there, can change our music and lyrics. We are not going to change our music, are we? Then it sounds just like on the camping. That is going to happen. I think so too. And earn only two euros? We are mad. Those two are, great, or are getting rich and we are just getting some pocket money. No, we are gonna make our own record. all by themselves. Could they do that? You need lots of money and experience and you must know how everything works. But that didn't stop the four. Ah, oh, the dog thought the producers were right about that one thing. Making a record is very expensive, especially renting a studio. The cock suggested to sleep over it and talk about it in the next morning. 
Tomorrow I'm starved, the cat said. Suddenly the dog said, You can smell that? It smelled like sausages and meatballs. All four ran towards the smell. Right after the first curve, they saw a small house. Hmm, that looks nice. Would there live someone? Look through the window. The donkey looked through the window. Huh? What's wrong? They live robbers in this house. Real robbers. Nonsense. Said the cat and jumped on the back of the donkey. Indeed, the donkey is right. We're robbers. Bank robbers. How can you tell? There is a big suitcase with money on the table. A lot of money? At least a hundred thousand euros. Oh. You think that would be enough? It is. If we had that kind of money, we don't have to rent a studio. We can build one ourselves. They looked at each other. Shall we? Yes, let's go! The dog jumped on the donkey, the cat on the dog, and the cock flew on the cat. <coughs> Where's the police? We are discovered, the robbers shouted, and they ran through the back door outside. The musicians entered the house. First they started to count the money. It was more than 100,000 euros. It was 200,000 euros. Ha ha ha! The next day the donkey put the suitcase on his back and off they went to Bremen. It wasn't that far. In Bremen they bought everything they needed for their own studio. Cassettes, CDs, microphones, everything. After that they rented a truck to bring everything back to the house. We can stay and live here. It's near Bremen. We never find such a good place again. And we don't need stupid producer who tell us what to do. We only make music, which we like ourselves. And we shall call ourselves the Bremer Musicians. So they did. They played and played their German songs until they were all satisfied. And they became famous. Musik ist unsere Welt Ob Anko, Pippa, Brocken, Roll, Fies und Sport gefüllt Wir leben jetzt im Räuberhaus, es geht uns wunderbar Keine Hetz und Ziege glaubt, der uns früher sah Denn mit dem Hallo, damit ist der Schuss Wir stehen auf der Bühne, und zwar ist unsere Kluft Warum verpflichst du zu dir, kam uns das nicht gleich Denn heute kennt uns hier, und bringen wir bis zum Deich 